Hi guys and welcome to this episode of my project mini build. Uh, today I am just going to be, I say today, this evening, I'm just going to be uh, fixing hopefully the last bit of rust on the underneath. Uh, it's actually in the driver's side wheel arch. Upon cleaning it I uh, came across a hole. So that will be a small patch just to weld in. It should be fairly straightforward. So I uh, managed to tub the passenger side wheel arch. Didn't record any of that because it was basically the same as that side. Uh, again, pig of a job. Uh, I think it's come out okay. Still not 100% happy with it, but I think it's slightly better than the driver's side. As with all these things, you learn a bit more of a technique of doing it. Uh, I think if I was to do it again, uh, I'd make sure my strip that I was welding in uh, was a much better shape to the uh, uh, bit, the section I'd cut out because uh, that made it quite tricky trying to get everything lined up and uh, I ended up folding the lip not quite high enough up so it didn't quite line up as well as it should have done but the main thing is in now it's really strong uh, by the time it's got seam sealer on and under seal it's not going to be a problem uh, and I've learned for the next one so uh, yeah I will show you the patch that I need to repair uh, so up in the arch here that's how we've got this hole here so I think before I actually weld uh, patch in I think I'm going to continue cleaning the rest of this off in case there's any more uh, repair jobs needed hidden up there I'd rather just do it all in one uh, so I think that would be my first job is just to get all that cleaned up uh, got my new own grinder now so that means I can carry on doing this sort of stuff um, still unfortunately waiting for my radiate cowling so I can't run the engine for a decent amount of time yet uh, I've got plenty of other stuff to get on with so I'll uh, try and get all the I'd quite like to try and get all the underside seam sealed and potentially Gravitex this week but uh, I'm not going to lose sleep if I don't because I'll be only working in the evenings this week so I'll just try and get as far as I can and uh, we'll see where we go well, the good news is there's no more patches, so that means this is the last patch I need to weld up on this before all the uh, underside can be finished off. So, thank God for that. So, there's the hole, uh, and this is where it is on the inside, just there. So, I'm just going to cut rectangle out, make up a new one, and uh, weld it in. It doesn't have to be pretty, it just needs to seal and uh, not be rust so
Well, I mean, it is by no means pretty. Uh, I think I'm having the same problem I was having when doing the uh, uh, tubbing the arches. Uh, I think where someone's wax oiled uh, the arches and some of the underneath, it's contaminated the metal, so no matter how much you clean it up, it just doesn't weld nicely at all. Um, weld to the new bit, welds absolutely lovely, uh, but it just, I don't know, I think it just brings out all the crap in the metal, uh, which is a bit of a pain, makes it look pretty horrible, uh, but it's plenty strong enough, um, so I'm happy with it. I'm going to give it a whoosh of primer all under here now, then I can uh, crack on with the seam sealing, which is quite exciting. So, uh, yeah, here it is. So, not pretty in the slightest, but functional. So, that's the main thing. Alright, that's it for this episode. Another short one. So, managed to get all the, uh, hopefully, that's all of the welding done. The whole underside is now completely in primer, ready for last bit of uh, seam sealing. The only bit I've got to do before I do that is just clean up the insides uh, of the welds just so I can seam seal a whole lot in one just because it basically ruins a brush at the end of it so uh, I might as well try and get all of it done in one go then uh, even if it takes me another day I'm happy with that I'd rather just do it all in one but that's a massive milestone today managed to uh, yeah, get the whole inside done dead chuffed with that so hopefully no more welding on the body um, which would be nice which means I can then start prepping it to start putting things back together which is going to be nice although as I said fairly early on I think there's going to be a lot of stuff that if I figure out I haven't got it's going to hold me up uh, the most recent example being the radiate cow why I didn't have that I have no idea but um, maybe it was completely rotten or something I don't know but it's uh, certainly haven't got it so um, yeah just have to wait but still aiming for end of August so we will see uh, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one